We're going to do something that's called um, remote disk. And uh, what it allows you to do is uh, the uh, MacBook Air, which is the one right here on the right, um, doesn't have a CD or DVD ROM drive. So uh, I'm going to show you how you can share it between uh, another um, computer that has a uh, DVD or CD ROM drive, um, which it does it through wirelessly. And uh, we got the MacBook Air on the right. And on the left, we have the MacBook Pro, which has the, oops, right here, it has a CD, DVD, ROM drive right there. And uh, we're going to show that real quick. Okay, um, first we're going to go to the uh, device that actually shares the um, DVD, ROM drive, which is the 15-inch uh, MacBook Pro. And as you can see, we got the uh, iLife 11 install CD or DVD in the uh, upper right hand side. It's already loaded. And uh, now we're going to go to the uh, preferences. And we got it. What we got to do is go to sharing. And uh, we're going to go to DVD or CD sharing right here in the preferences. And it should be set up. And we're going to go ahead and open file. Uh, finder. And uh, it's right here. Let me see if I can uh, get this a little bit bigger. Which is not really big. But uh, right down there you've got something that's called... Um, Uh, remote disk and we're gonna go ahead and click on that and uh, as we see right here we got Stephen Klingon's MacBook Pro and we're gonna go ahead and double click on that and here it says it's already connected and we're gonna go to ask to use okay uh, there's a pop-up box that comes up it says, um, MacBook Air would like to use your DVD ROM drive. And you just go here and click accept. And now we go back here. And as you can see, we got the iLife 11 install CD right here. And now we can even bring it up. And uh, actually, I hear on the uh, the 15-inch MacBook Pro that the uh, CD-ROM is actually starting up, and we should see the uh, the installer pop up on the uh, the MacBook Air. And it's probably going to take a while because it's doing it through wireless. And actually it's showing the on the upper right hand side we should be able to just click on it and there it is right here we can install iLife on the MacBook Air without a DVD ROM drive and it's just sharing it from the uh, MacBook Pro right there